can't. We were doing fine with that last week. That's all we have to do when those come on and, and we're oh, all good. Yeah, I know. It's just like, you know, I get nervous. I get kind of nervous. <laughs> I, get nervous. I get nervous. You've been married to me too long. <laughs> yeah, I'm just nervous in general. <laughs> so here we're going to go and we're going to check out... Um, so oh. the night. We're gonna we're gonna check out cold drinks now. All right. Cold drinks. Cold drinks. Here we go. It's up to you, it's up to me Cold drinks come in four cups Gotta know the size before you fill it up Biggie, medium, small, kids meal Keep it straight, it's a good deal Our national debt is increasing at over three and a half billion dollars every day And the new health care law increases our debt even more Economists are predicting the new health care law passed by Congress will cut health benefits for seniors, increase the cost of insurance premiums, raise taxes, and force us to borrow even more money from China and other foreign governments. Congress must stop digging a deep hole of debt that we'll never get out of. Please stop digging. Right, then hand that drink to the coordinator and tell the guest you'll see him later. Don't forget to smile when you serve cold drinks. Always say thank you to the guest. You're the one that can make the difference. For lemonade, things stay the same. Half full with ice. I said it again. Fill the juice to a quarter inch from the top. Just like you did the pop. Water is a courtesy to our guests. Use a small cup, you know the rest. Now it's time to serve cold tea, but the ice is different. Listen carefully. Instead of half full, fill it all the way up to the top of the cup. Add the tea, and if they ask for a lemon, put it here. Now that's a given. Cold drinks, that's all there is to it. Go ahead and try. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Shit. You know what? Her unshakable faith in me mm -hmm. makes me feel a little better about myself. She knows I can do it. She knows that it's the same for lemonade. Yeah, I just was like, <laughs> it was like a full on instrumental breakdown there. That had nothing to do with instructions. I'm waiting for you. I'm doing it. Fill the drink up to the left. Make sure you smile when you serve that shit. Okay, I'll tell you what. Yeah. We're doing two songs. Like, that, that could be a very hip song now. What do you, who do you like better? I mean, it's no contest. It's all about hot drinks for me. Give me the devil, please, I do some lying. They got that for my money. Now, do you think that was a Craigslist ad bus? Way before Craigslist. How did they find them? Uh, I think they actually worked at Wendy's. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Because didn't Wendy's have, like, a promotion like that for a little while? They're like, this is an actual Wendy's worker. Like, it's not even an actor. It's not so fucking forward thinking of us. <laughs> yeah, I like hot, I'm, I'm a hot drinks guy myself. Yeah, I'm going to say hot drinks myself. So, did anyone in the chat room like cold drinks? Anyone? Uh, I like, uh, she's like, put it on the left side of the tray. <laughs> no, it's like, uh, don't pour it out or your boss will frown. <laughs> Maybe I want drinks. him to give it a frown. <laughs> Maybe he's been bumming me out all afternoon and I want him to frown. <laughs> Cold drink did suck dick, Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> that bitch was What proud. about, what about? <laughs> she was a little No, you gotta do it with me. Okay, hey, come on. Yeah, I My musical partner. I'll give you the lead in. Yeah. She's in to smile when you show her. Don't smile when you serve shit. <laughs> smile when you serve that shit. We're yes, watch, we're watch somebody's asking, we are week. playing the 26th of San Francisco this month at the Folsom Street Fair, and then I go away to work for an undisclosed musical cable network for, for a month, and now Houston, it was going to be, where the fuck was I going? Pittsburgh, but now... Houston is where it's at, I understand. So, if anybody's going to be in Houston, hit us up, because chances are we're going to be bored on our days off. And um, then we come home and we play we play New Noise Santa Barbara on the 6th of November, which is a festival, which is fun. And then we play the Power Up premiere, um, like we did last year, which was fucking awesome. We're playing that again this year on the 7th. But... November 6th, incidentally, in Santa Barbara is Mr. JD's birthday show. It is his actual birthday. <laughs> it's, his, oh, it's his actual birthday, and we are going to have, we're going to have some fun. <laughs> so, come out and join us. And, 
And I don't know, that's it. I go back to work at the end of this month on the girl trash picture because apparently they've been screening it like crazy and I just, and I just hear it's fucking fantastic. <laughs> but uh, they wanted more musical numbers. So they put us back to work, cracking the whip at us, and we are producing back to work. more musical numbers. And we filmed the re- said musical numbers uh, September 20th through the 24th. So um, we'll see. That's what we got going on for the next couple months. And then, eh, we'll see. Mm. <laughs> it's a fine picture. It's a fine picture. One of my finest pictures. <laughs> you want to check out these uh, new earphones I got today? Oh, my God. Okay, can we just talk about this? Hang on a second. Johnny turns into fucking Harry Crumb whenever he sees, like, a blockbuster video. <laughs> I swear to God, you get, like, an eight-track hard on. You're just like, oh, my God, videotapes. <laughs> we have to go in every one. I don't understand why, because he's really for... Well, every blockbuster... Points, every- we have Netflix, and we have... A, well, f- for one thing, Net- yes. every Netflix is, uh, is has a different selection of, of pre-owned movies, and a lot of times there's movies... Every that- blockbuster. Yeah. You said ne- every Netflix. Every blockbuster has its own... has its, 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 its privately owned it's a franchise. So they've each got their own, like, you know, oh, we'll buy this movie from you, or we'll, we'll re- they resell these video games. And a lot of times you get stuff that you can't get at other blockbusters. But they also have good magazines, and they also have... Some bullshit that's just like weird things that go into Blockbuster. I swear you'll see it. Check these out that I got this today. Is, he was so excited. Was so Look at these, he's like, honey, how cute are these? Okay, ready? I didn't say how cute are I said how no, badass are these, yo. No, no, like, Maybe it sounds like, cute are these? Maybe it sound like I'm like literally like I had like a midriff tie, uh, tied shirt off at the top of my belly. Ready? Yeah, here we go. He, it, was, it was a, they can't see. I sure they can't. It was a real toss-up because they also had some double bubble ones and some Jolly Ranchers, so it took him like about 10 to 15 minutes to decide which pair he wanted. Look at Even that. though we have a sponsorship through Skull Candy and have like a million sets of headphones None of the earphone Skull- closet, no, he doesn't buy these today. None of the Skull Candy earbuds look like Reese's Pieces in my ear. <laughs> no, but we have actual you have the headphones you can buy with our music loaded into them from Skull Candy. You know what? still choose these. I still want that. I, everyone can get those. Oh, I, it looks like the actual Reese. Okay, yeah. perfect. So everything else was like, it's a double bubble, it's a Jolly Rancher, and it didn't... That looks like Reese's. Right, it didn't look like the actual candy. Yeah. Oh, I get it now. Yeah. Wait, totally opposite. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Those are $5.99. You, you wear your skull candies on a plane, which I totally back skull candy. Mm-hmm. You wear your skull candies on a plane. I'll wear my Reese's earphones on a plane and see who gets to comment first. See who gets talked to first, because I'll wear some big ass fucking cans, which means leave me alone. And you'll wear little candy buds in your ears, and they'll be like, "Isn't this an enjoyable flight? Why are you going? You want to see my grandkids?" And then you're fucked. And I'm enjoying sweet, sweet tunes. <laughs> Why is it? This is let's see, folks. This is the definition of a hater. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you I'm do. A hater, like literally, like seventy five times daily. <laughs> Do you know that? You're constantly hating on my Steve. You, you called? No, I'm, I love your Steve. Love your Steve. I told you today. Uh, like, we were sitting at that one place, and I was like, oh, my God, he looks so cute. Look at the picture of ah. I was like, Mandy. <laughs> I was like, this is what you look like right now. It's awesome. No, your Steve is questionable when you walk into fucking Blockbuster and comic book stores. Something, somebody else takes over. It's, I, I, I'm married to Harry Crumb at that point. I don't know what happens. I'll go into any comic like, book store. This would sound great. I'm at a trola. <laughs> No, I just like to have uh, at, at, at my disposal a, some a book at all times, something to pick up and look at while something else is. I'm waiting. I'm usually waiting on somebody, constantly. No, we're waiting every fucking time we go on tour. Johnny Cole will find like the most asshole comic book store, and he's like, "Oh, I've got to go spend 45 minutes to an hour and a half in here right now. You can pace manically outside and wait for me." Even this, we found like. It was like a religious comic book store, remember? And he spent like 20 minutes in there. You're like, oh, Jesus goes to camp, okay? <laughs> I don't Jesus goes to camp? I don't know, it's something like that. That's some bullshit. Okay, but Tandy, to answer your question, there are headphones that you can get with Kilo Music uh, loaded into them on the Skull Candy site. If you go, I think they're called 007s, right? I don't know. Uh, something like that, 007, and they have... They're, uh, prob- they're probably sold out. Yeah, they made a limited run, so I don't even know if they're... Oh, they're called Double Agents, excuse me. Nice to know your own headphones, asshole. <laughs> They're called Double Agent Headphones by Scully Candy. Yeah, yeah, check these out. You seven of bitches. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And so check out those, and then, and then, um... Can you stop showing my whole deal? Because I asked you if we were going to be on video today, and I was going to get cute. 
And I'm the opposite of that right now. I just, and you I'm just keep, cheating all the time. I know, you're lucky. Me, not so much. Like a mother grab. Who knows where they went? You know what? I don't know where they went. I see Kilola, True Man from Music, which is gone. totally not even. No, no, these are. These, well, these are old. These, this is an old deal. So that may or may not work. Try to buy it, and then if you, they successfully sell them to you, then you can write them back. Make more. Hmm. Oh, there they are. See detail. Why doesn't it say see detail? detail? Why don't they have details about it? See detail. 5246. Now, how do you think they arrived at that number? It's wireless. <laughs> it's a wireless. But 46? Why not run it the fuck off if you have to be that weird? They're pretty weird. 5250. <laughs> oh, out of stock. Oh, sold out. Son of a bitch. Well, we have a pair somewhere, don't we? I don't know. We'll sell them to the highest bidder on eBay. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't know where they went. Porn well, it's good that they're sold out. Porn heater. Oh, my God. Snipe somebody? I believe so. I believe so. Oh, where's my sniper right Yeah, 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 yeah. It's time to snipe. Why isn't the phone working, though? This is the advice show, and I haven't received or given any advice. Why Why can't we make that work right now? What are you, what are you doing? Get a sniper rifle. Oh, Johnny's going to get a sniper rifle. You bitches are fucked now. I can think of one in particular that is fucked. Okay, hi, guest. No, you have to get a, you have to get a nickname or we won't talk to you. And so far, I, I can pick a few good nicknames for you. <laughs> Case in point, boat's just laying around. Just found this next to my... Shotgun. What is it? I don't know. It's a book I just picked up the other day. Go check it out. Chariots of God. But see, that's the thing. Are you, like, will you read it? Of course. On tour, you read like a motherfucker, but at home, you're too busy. You're not going to read that. I'll read that. I'll have that book done next week. I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> oh, look. See, we're getting voicemails. It's working, but... These bitches are forwarding over. What? I don't know what to do, John. I can really use your help right now. What? How do we get the call? I don't know. I've set it up to the best of my ability. So far, it seems as though technology is failing. Here, let me have Carla try it. All right. Let me call Carl. Hold on a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what's going on. Where's the microphone? I'll get to the bottom of this shit right now. Oh, you watch. Why on the air? Huh? Why on the air? Yes, you are right on the air. Which is why you picked up Michael Lohan. I love how you fucking, as soon as you're like, oh, I'm off the air, all right, bye. You left my house. Michael Lohan, that's your new fucking name. Yeah, but I wouldn't want you to call. I wouldn't want you to call it, is right. Yeah, you totally wouldn't do that. <laughs> what did she say? I have no idea. Oh my god, she's talking. <laughs> talking mad shit. She sounds like people from Peanuts. She sounds like an adult. I know, we heard. We're very excited about that. However, I need to call her. Put Carl on the phone because you're going to be like, what? I don't know. What? Put her on. Maybe she definitely put her on. I want to hear this. I'm going to snipe every guest in this room. <laughs> Yeah, you guys better get nicknames within the next five minutes. Or yeah, started. I want to give us full warning. If you're a, if you're a guest, unregistered nickname in the room, you don't have to sign up with your email. Just go down to options and change your nickname. I'll give you two minutes okay. from now. Hold on a second. Hold on. Okay. Oh, my God. I need you to call me back, Rose. Do you have, listen to this. Oh, all right. What's going on? Oh, hi, Carla. Okay, hang on a second. Let me just... Hello. I need you to do me a favor. We're having trouble. We're having trouble with our phone line. If you're a guest and, and you, you're having a hard time registering your nickname, that's because you're trying to sign in as someone else's nickname. You need to change it to like, let's say that you're Mike. You can't have Mike because someone else has obviously been Mike before you. So be like Mike, Mike, Mike's balls, sixteen, or Mike has skaties, forty-one. Just change it to something kind of unique. Call me right back on it. All right, bye. I need to text her the actual number. She doesn't have the thing. Yes, Mike, nine cent blowjob. That would work, too. <laughs> All right, how do I give her the number? What's the number again? We should know our own radio show number. 63848. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3
Um, now only three more guests. I'm, I'm hoping somebody just slips on this. You've got a minute left. I, I wish a motherfucker would. I wish a motherfucker would. Let's 